implementation of the East African Community Integration Process following President Uhuru Kenyatta's assumption of the ESC chair. Five East African heads of state have met in Kampala to, among other things, sign the East African Monetary Union Protocol. The protocol is expected to pave way for a single currency within the East African community. The only weaknesses is in implementation. There is, for instance, the issue of non-tariff barriers. I want to salute President Uhuru Kenyatta, owing to his intervention, the days a container of goods takes to move from Mombasa to Kampala have been reduced from 18 days to three days. The ceremony that took place at Kololo Independence Grounds also saw President Huru Kenyatta take over the ESC chairmanship from Ugandan President Yoweri Kagutam Seveni. Rwanda was supposed to take up the one-year rotational chair but declined, citing a busy 2014, a year in which the country will mark the 20th commemoration of the genocide against the Tutsi and the liberation anniversary. We are all responding to the imperative of our times to expand our respective national capacities while at the same time integrating in order to optimize our benefits from economies of scale. Apart from signing the protocol, other issues that top the agenda included the reviewing of the decisions of the previous head of state summit had been implemented, with South Sudan application to join the regional bloc also being discussed. Integration in Africa, both economic and political, is precisely about this. The excessively balkanized African continent could not have ensured these five. Hence the need for the integration and the need for the East African community. While many argue that a single currency will facilitate and strengthen trade between the East African member states, some have raised fears over its implementation, especially when time for using a single currency comes. To develop the necessary capacity, we must deepen even more trade amongst each other. This way, our private sectors will develop the strength, resilience, and stature needed to take on the world. The monetary protocol is expected to be in place by 2016, according to a roadmap set out by the protocol. It will operate until 2024 after completing its preparational mandate and then given away to the regional central bank. The full attendance by the five president of the East African community at this year's Heads of State Summit here in Kampala, Uganda, is a morale booster for the community whose future had been put in doubt in the recent past, with Tanzania being labeled as an unwilling participant in the integration process. But Kikwete's presence in this meeting is a clear indication that Tanzania is fully committed to the integration process. Philip Keitan Keitian from Munyonyo, Kampala, Uganda.